up you guys it is Mira it is Shira it is Vera it is Scorpion Breads I am back 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 at it like it's big business baby we are here for our money manifesting Monday pick a card reading I don't know if you're excited I am excited about this I'm ready to get some money messages some financial and career messages some prosperity messages for the week so I want to give a shout out to all my OGs, a shout out to all my newbies, a shout out to all my babies for coming through, like, sharing, subscribing, and clicking this video. You know, before we get into any guidance for the day, we want to give Father God, the Creator, Universe, whatever it is that you call uh, Father God, <laughs> we want to give them knowledge, praise, and um, thanks before we get into today's festivity. So... Uh, Father God, we want to thank you so much for waking us up, for bringing us here. Um, we're about to get into a wonderful, prosperous, glorious week, Father God. We are ready to receive some money messages, some prosperity messages, some career and business messages today. We want to... Um, Make sure that we make wise investments of our time and our energy and our finances, Father God. We want to make sure that any energy that we put out, any um, intentions that we put out, any um, time that we put out, that it, it, it's towards something that is going to um, grow and um, continue to accumulate uh, resources and funds. So, matriculate income is what I wanted to say. So, Father God, we just thank you for um, all of the knowledge that we have, all of the growth that we've been seeing, just how fertile our land is right now, Jesus. Uh, we're here to get all of the message that we need to gather so that we can... Um, have strong building blocks around us as we uh, create this new environment that we are uh, patiently developing. So Jesus, we thank you so much for where we are. We thank you for where we stand. We thank you for where we're going. Um, please give us the knowledge that we need to receive today. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. And you know what we always got to say, Jesus? Thank you for being a friend. Boom, 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 boom. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Thank you for being a friend. Jesus, thank you for being a friend. You know we appreciate you, Father. Amen. Hello, Glory. Glory, look, they don't know our story. They don't know our story. So listen, let's get into this. So we got three pile selections here. We got group number one that is represented by this purple bracelet right here. All right. You also might pick this deck here if you are attracted to the Sagittarius sign that you see here on the uh, dice and we also have the number 10. So if you like the purple bracelet, the Sagittarius uh, zodiac sign or the number 10, you might want to put uh, pick group number one. If you like this black obsidian bracelet, why can't I talk today? The sign of <laughs> Libra or the number five, group number two, is your squadron. Okay, squad up. All right, you is squad number two. If you picked this white bracelet, all right, with the Gemini sign and Gemini you seem to be very popular in these readings okay when I'm rolling the dice and the number 11 group number three is your group in your reading so while I am allowing you guys to take a second to pick your group I'm gonna move these right on over here my dear all right have no fear all right and y'all forgive me if y'all hear my bird chirping in the background, okay? Look, the birds be talking. The birds be talking. They be squawking, okay? And we are reloaded. So if you picked this purple bracelet, 
Sagittarius and the number 10. This is your group, okay? So let's get into you, boo. What it do? What it do? What it do? Sagittarius and 10. We gonna get it in. So, let's see what the first uh, card is here in your pile. We got this card here. It says, avoid hateful thoughts as they are just as hurtful as physically striking someone <laughs> so what the hell is going on with y'all group number one it seems like somebody may be frustrating you like seriously and god is like trying to remind you to keep your thoughts as pure as water it doesn't matter how bad somebody is aggravating you because even your thoughts creates an energy it, it creates a petition it's a manifest it's a manifestation so just please you know have patience with people there might be somebody that is like disrupting your flow and extremely disruptive just like this bird that is outside of my door and if you do not mind uh, I am going to move her and all her squawking because it is disruptive girl Child, oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. So, I feel way better now. I feel way better. Hopefully, I, I can get my speech together. I don't know what I got a speech impediment today. I don't know what the heck is going on. We're going to get it together. So, listen. Lightning and the thunder. Boom, boom, boom. Lightning and the thunder. Thunder, lightning and the thunder. Y'all know that. Yo, my God, play that song. Oh, my goodness. Who do you think you are? Something, something, uh, uh, the big star. Uh, 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 If y'all never heard that song, please look up Lightning and the Thunder. Listening, listen to the lyrics, y'all. Again, it says, avoid hateful thoughts as they are just as hurtful as physically striking someone. Keep your temper this week, you guys. Keep your temper. It doesn't matter what nobody says. It doesn't matter what type of disruptions they're trying to create in your life. Keep yourself balanced and keep your thoughts pure at all times. So let's see. All right. So center energy is abundance. You got the abundance card. So that's good. Keep your thoughts clear because you got so much more that's positive to look forward to. Don't worry about what nobody is saying and doing. It says, Divine Beloved, please show me how to fully how to feel fully deserving to receive. I release my ego's plan and open up being a vehicle for abundance. Let me repeat that again. Divine Beloved, please show me how to feel fully deserving to receive. I release my ego's plan and open up to be a vehicle for abundance. There's like some disruptions from time to time in regards to the things you're trying to achieve and the things that you're trying to do, group number one. But there might be an unexpected blessing that you really don't even see coming don't focus on the disruptions focus on the path because the only thing these disruptions can do if you allow it to is to is to turn your gaze to take your focus off of the prize but you got to think about when you're driving a vehicle you never want to take your eyes off of the road one distraction can cause an accident. Do you understand? So don't allow anything to distract you. And allow God to come into your life to uh, steer you a little bit more while you're in your vehicle of success. And it says, may I release my ego's plan and open to being a vehicle of abundance. Always got to make sure that you're a safe driver. Don't ever stop 
and pay attention to your distractions. And my dad always tells me too, when you're driving, don't be angry when you're driving. That's the worst thing that you could do is to be an angry driver or to be upset while you're driving. So pay attention. Pay attention to that. Let's see what else we got, you guys. Let's put all these cards out here. We got the listen card. Listen to yourself. Listen to your inner thoughts. We got to decide which direction you want to go. Listen to your inner self. Decide which direction you want to go. You got the sun. Happiness. Inspiration. Joy. I feel like you're first up. I heard you first up. Like you first up, you first in line. <laughs> you got the two bows. Got a new direction. You got two levels of support. You got a very, very strong support system. You definitely focused on a new direction. You have a new sense of purpose, a new sense of intentions. You see where you're going. You're going places. You're very driven. You're preparing yourself to move forward. And to do what you want to do. Like, like what you've always wanted to do is what I'm hearing. What do we got here? And then you got the woodwork. What is this? Number 11. Oh, God. Why am I have to, like, I don't know what this is. This is, is this the justice card? Let me just verify this real quick. I believe that this is the justice card. Number 11 is the justice. And it is the justice card. I just heard, like, you're focused on keeping your agreement. That you said you were going to do to the universe. You're finally deciding to listen to yourself. And keep your agreement. You're focusing on yourself. And you're focused on your virtue. And your birthright. You're really going inside. And listening to everything. That your inner thoughts are telling you to do. I feel like in a, 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 for a long time in your life. You used to second guess yourself. You used to second guess yourself. You would overthink. You would uh, run your thoughts by everybody else and allow other people's opinion to affect how you were going to go, how you were going to move, and how you were going to do things. But now you're listening to your own intuition. Not only that, God gives you signs all of the time. It's time to restructure and repurpose your talents. Keep yourself from around hateful people or people that annoy you or get on your nerves. And that's not paying attention to what you're saying or not paying it, uh, 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 or believing in what you see for yourself in your future. You can't share your dreams with everybody. And that's why you need to decide. You really need to listen to yourself. And like this says, mindfulness. It says, listen to your intuition. Be mindful of what your inner is being said to you follow your gut feelings and stay connected to the divine within i didn't even read the card but that's basically what the hell i was saying <laughs> basically what i was saying and then this decide card says decide the best course of action and pursue income generating activities in your business right now is the time to shine i feel like you're a very strong speaker and again, you have a very sense of direction and a sense of justice of what's right and wrong. You need to keep yourself around people that are honorable, people that are respectful, people that have good integrity. The more and more that you keep yourself surrounded around that, the more good outcomes and the things that you have to come towards you. Um... You're very mi mindful of your mindset going forward. That's why it's very important that um, I feel like you need to keep your creativity to yourself. You're constantly growing with that sun. Uh, <laughs> like your shine is so bright on the inside right now. Once that inner glow starts peeking out of you, 
and you really start having a little bit of fun with yourself, a little bit of fun with your uh, success. You're being a little bit more expressive with your creativity. You're, um, again, attracting new people in your life that you can, um, that are influencing you and that you can be creative with. Because honestly, that is what I'm seeing with the sun card. It's like you out in the sun playing around, being inventive starting some new shit with people that are just like you that have the same goal oriented mindset um with that two of wands right there it's like you're going far like you're very very focused on your future and you're very passionate about where you're going you're very passionate about the projects that you're working on like you're really putting forth a plan of action Last two cards. It says the people that you spend the most time with shape who you are. Ain't that crazy, y'all? And then it says control. Control your thoughts. And that is so freaking crazy. Keep your thoughts as pure as water. These For these two last cards, to basically sum up what this is saying, what this is why this is being created in your life, avoid hateful thoughts as they are just as hurtful as physically striking somebody. There is something that is in your life that is creating a level of pent up energy of frustration. And I want to say animosity because it's like you want to really express yourself, but I, I, I really do feel like you're holding it back and it's creating a brewing storm within you please separate yourself around people that i'm here to undermine you that don't understand who you are that have, that are not driven that when you surround yourself around people like that they will hate you in the long run because you have so much going for you and they are stuck in the same circumstances because they're not focused on themselves they're probably focused on everything else around them but them and then wonder why their life is stuck of stagnation and dependency. Mm -mm. The people that you spend the most time with shape who you are. Remember how I said in this Sun car here that I seen you being around successful people, people with the same mindset and level of creativity as you that are going places that have their own goals, that have their own friend group, that are adventurous, that are thrill seekers, that are creators. That are positive entities, not in just your life, but in the world, period. Because they are influencers. Positive influencers. They bring that childlike happiness, joy. Fun, like, serious. Like, have you ever... Um, really enjoy doing something so much like that's like if you and your friend i don't know why i always keep get uh this idea about a gamer but like you really into gaming i didn't get that oh Could you try shit again? yo siri just scared the holy fucking shit out of me young oh my god that shit just put chill like y'all please understand that just scared the shit out of me, Slim. What the fuck just happened just now? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Please understand. I don't even know what the fuck I was saying, y'all. I am Woo! That just shook me. That just shook the shit out of me, y'all. I love people by Africa. Myself. Ooh. I feel
feel like you have more control. It like it's not going to take much for you to decide um, what decides to be in your circle and, and and what shouldn't. Because the things that need to be removed, it's going to stunt your creativity. You're going to feel confused. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go back and forth about this. And then you're going to remember this whole thing. What does it say? The people that you spend the most time with shape who you are. Who do you have the most fun with? Who are you the more inspired to have creative thoughts around? Who do you see yourself growing with? Who do you have more joy around? Where do you see yourself growing and going towards? For the feeling of happiness and success. In abundance. You know what the right choice is to make. You know who these people are. The decision is really going to be more easy for you than you can think. Like you really do have a lot more emotional control um, over your thoughts. Over your energy. And the reason why I feel like you have this... Uh, eruption that's boiling inside of you is because you do have a very firm control over your emotions like it could be some people that's pissing you off okay but you don't show it at all it's like water off a of duck, duck's back but you you do have more control over the fact that you don't have to surround yourself around these energies and these entities no more it's time for you to have fun it's more time for you to do the things that you always should have been doing without judgment, without feeling like people are trying to compete with you, without feeling like people are trying to copy you, um, without whatever the hell this is. It's like God is just trying to tell you to structure your... Um, Mindset and your energy and your time around people that are going places. That are going places. Don't waste don't waste no more of your time with a whole bunch of people that don't do nothing with their life but waste time. It says control. Try to be more flexible and allow the universe to work its magic. God is cleaning things up for you. <laughs> things are going to start to happen that's going to make the choices a lot more easier for you. You might not have to make the decision. God may make it himself for you. He might clean some shit up for you. And you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about later on this week. And you're going to be like, Red said that shit. Yes, I did. Because if, if he didn't do it, baby, I promise you, your ass was about to snap, crackle, and pop. You was about to explode because your thoughts was starting to, you know, <laughs> your thoughts was building up. And like it says, avoid hateful thoughts as they are just as hurtful as physically striking somebody. God said, oh, I'm about to clean up my baby environment. Mm-mm. I'm about to clean up my baby environment real quick. It says, don't lose out on opportunities because it didn't come in the form that you wanted it to. Sometimes blessings come in disguises. Stay open-minded to see the potential. You're very, very fortunate that sometimes God changes your circumstances for you. You might not be able to do certain things with certain people or go certain places that you wanted to go. It may be a reason for that. God is about to do some cleansing in your space real quick. So just sit back and just watch him move. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because this group right here, you guys have been very patient and you've been very quiet and you guys have really been keeping your eyes on the prize and the abundance. And there's been little freaking scratching and little distractions and little 
tidbits of bullshit and I see that you've been keeping your head down. You've been avoiding reacting, which I'm so, so thankful to you. But we got to keep your mind space peaceful. Cause just, and I tell I tell people all the time, just because you don't see me react to something, that doesn't mean that my insides ain't churning. You know? That doesn't mean that it doesn't affect me eternally. Eternally, it, it, and, and it's it's the internal feelings and emotions that you really need to be concerned about. Cause people can keep that poker face on. But if you're not feeling good inside or if it's something that's bothering you and it's something that you're keeping to yourself, it's like, you know, mm -mm. hold on, because it's going to keep on. Anyway, so let me get into group number two, because I definitely see that there's a lot of abundance and blessings coming into my group number one. But you just got to get one little distraction out of the way and you're going to be all good. Group number two, what it do? So if you have picked this black bracelet, this number five, and the Libra sign, baby, this is your reading. Let's get into these money manifestation Monday readings. So let's see what this says. It says, always look for the good, even in the most difficult situations. What is going on with y'all? What is going on? Why is anybody having any difficult situations in my collective? It says, oh, forgiveness. Hold on, so hold on. Gotta forgive. This may have to do something with some partnership with some friend. I don't see you having any more business deals or anything financial to do with this person. But I think it is okay for you to forgive and let bygones be bygones and to keep moving. And either take that wisdom to help you uh, develop better partnerships and to keep going. Or you could just do what you need to do by yourself. But um, always look for the good, even in the most difficult situations. Just forgive. I feel like with this desert here, and but like you really don't have too much to say, or um, there really isn't much to resolve. It's just we're good. We ain't good, good, but you know we good. Okay. <laughs> it says healing comes from acceptance. Help me, dear Lord, to fully accept what is knowing that this alone will open me to the new okay it is what it is i accept it i forgive i'm ready to move on to be more open to the new i feel you on that one let's see what we got here we gotta appreciate what oh just chill <clears throat> Keep calling me when I work out. I'm gonna call you back. Hey, call me back. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna call you back. Anyway, appreciate. Uh, ooh, I don't gotta peek at the mother cards. You got appreciate and plan. I feel like appreciate what you do have, and to restructure yourself, reorganize. Do a inventory check to see what resources, what assets you got left. And it's time to, to, to move forward. It's time to keep it going. Um, and especially if you were working with somebody on a project or a business incentive, I feel like you should appreciate for what they did bring to the table and just plan to move ahead. There's no point of making anything difficult. What do we have here? We got the moon in the reverse. There could have been something that was exposed, something that came out. Um, I feel like you could have been working with someone that 
could be going through something in their personal life right now and it, it just may not be a good time for them to be a good partner to you in this business incentive i feel like their ideas are not coming from a good place someone could be um well, I feel like some ideas or something is coming from a place of desperation. I feel like it's like something is going on where it's like you are looking at the, the, this person like, Hey, brother, is everything okay? Like, what's been going on at home? Is everything been going on, on all right? Like, you, you need help with something? Like, what's going on? I feel like someone could... It's like they're becoming unhinged. They're like start. It's starting to show on their face, on their outward attire. Like they're looking to shuffle. They're just becoming something that you're just not used to. It's just strange behavior. Like it's been some type, some type of strange behavior going on. Let's see what we got here. We got the three of vessels in the in the reverse. It, yeah, it's like all the it's not. I feel like it's love and war now. It's no fun and games in the situation anymore. Um I feel like you just don't enjoy working with somebody anymore. And it's starting to show, it's starting to come out. Um shit, you could be acting funny with this person. Or they could be acting funny with you. It's so something like that. Yeah, the queen is done. I got to protect my goddamn, uh, uh, my business. It's like you're coming to work disheveled. You're arguing with people. You're being extra sensitive. Sometimes you'll say, I'll be right back. I don't know what you're going. You'll be missing for hours. And even when you're saying that you're working remote, I could clearly tell that you're not online and nothing because and nothing is getting done. It's like it I can't trust you anymore. And I'm having to restructure my business without you. And I'm sorry about it, but I have to move on. I appreciate everything that you brought to the table. You've had a lot of amazing ideas. But I, I, we got to go. We got to go to the next level in justice. Yeah, somebody could be getting fired. Somebody could be. We got to we gotta go to the next level. We got to restructure. We got to replan. We got to recreate this system. Um, but the wheel doesn't stop moving. And again, like the justice card represents like a level of forgiveness as well. Um, you may be forgiving someone for a loan. Well, I feel like you might have helped someone on a car loan as well. Something about like a car loan. It's like, I don't, I don't even want the money. I just want you to take care of yourself. Because with this Queen of Stones too, it's like still a level of I love you. And I'm doing this for you. But you're not going to fuck up the flow of my business. Well, I feel like this could be like a lipstick, a lipstick gloss company like a cosmetic company or something you could have had like a family member or somebody a relative helping create with you trying to start a business doing something um i don't necessarily think that they're trying to steal your ideas if they are you do got the justice system right there you definitely look uh, we'll take them to court but i don't see that um, I, I, what I see here is somebody that is trying to take their business to the next level. You could have got uh, approved a loan, something like that, that is allowing you to process more orders or work at a higher pace, more volume where things are going up and, um, you're having to. You're trying to figure out how to vacate the entry level 
and move upward to the successful system. Do you feel me? And I got to have a good team of people with me. Like I can't, I can't do it by myself. I can't do what I need to do if I have to be so involved in the personal lives of the people that are involved in this business with me. I need to know that when people come to work that they're leaving their personal lives home, that they're coming here with good intentions, that they are uh, they have good energy. It's, it's not that this person is judging you for your personal life, but it's something that is causing a problem with the flow of the system because it's not fun to create with you anymore. It's not fun to have you around anymore. I'm more worried about you more than anything because it's like life is telling on you. It's more things starting to come out and be exposed and I'm starting to witness things and mainly it's your strange behavior which is mainly making me pay attention to what's going on not only at work or in our business environment but just around you period because it's bringing some level to concern that that shit might trickle down to work to your work environment you might end up snapping on some people because you ain't getting enough sleep you got somebody at work i mean at home beating on you like who knows what the fuck is going on but it's something about there's somebody in your work environment where certain things are starting to come out every day about this person. People are starting to pay attention. Like, even if this person is trying to hide what is personally going on in their life and in their lifestyle, other people are starting to notice because they're not the same person that they used to work with anymore. They're not fun. There's more attitude. They're rude. Their overall just work integrity sucks right now. They, the, the, the team spirit and camaraderie, coming to work late, if coming like calling out all of the time. Um, it's just a lot of things that really just need to go. And it's like, we love you, but at the same time, you're fucking up the morale of the overall system. And it's like, I forgive you. And it's like, I understand what's going on, but it's like, we got to continue to restructure it, that plan ahead and move to the next level. Like we can't, no, no business is going to care. And I don't know who's listening to this or who needs to hear this. Cause this could be somebody young that needs to hear this message. Cause I'm really reading this from the perspective of somebody that's the business owner and that has to break the news to somebody that listen you know i'm trying to look for the good in this situation you are an amazing person you just have some personal things that are going on in your home environment or in your personal environment or whatever the fuck environment that you just can't bring to work and it's just not a it's not positive here and we need to focus and work with someone who's a little bit more focused and you know I do believe in second chances, but I don't know, like you could, um, because the forgiveness is here and you do got the justice here. The justice does represent second chances, but again, I, I the, the way this queen of stones, the way this queen of pen, this queen of pentacles is not playing about her business. And it's not about friends. It's not about friendships. It's not about any personal relationships. It's about I have to run a business. And I, I, I don't care if you're my family. I don't care if you're my friend. Because the three of vessels that can represent like a relative, a family, a friend, somebody that you know. It's like something personal, you know. And I don't want you to take it personal. But... Is you're taking the fun out of something that used to be fucking amazing. And you're making it hard to work with you, let alone look at you right now. Because look at you like what? you, you Because this could be someone trying to hide like a drug addiction or something or something. 
I didn't bring out any other cards and things like that, but it's like, it, it's, you, it's starting to tell on yourself. Somebody is starting, it's starting to spill over. But you got the Justice card here. And let me read both of them. Because I don't know if I read any of these. It says, the appreciation card. Practice gratitude as part of your sacred daily ritual. Feeling deep appreciation for your blessings manifests more abundance and joy to you. Every day you wake up, just say thank you. Just say, I just thank, I'm just i thankful that I got a successful business. I'm thankful that I got um, it up off of the ground and I have a consistent influx of, of, of orders and um, people wanting me to hire them. I always have people asking me to interview them if I'm hiring. So it's not like um, I can't just push this to the next level and just step up my expectations for what I want. And, that, and, and that's where it goes to the plan as well. Because maybe before you might have accepted um, people that had hidden shit in their background. Things that you could have known about. Like these are this is shit that you know that necessarily didn't look good. You know, maybe other people wouldn't have hired them for if they would have seen certain things uh, on their record or certain personality traits like being lazy or um, because I don't like the moon in the verse. I don't I don't like the moon in the reverse right there at all. Because it, it gives me this beats like being underhanded and deceitful too, and just. Like undervaluing my time because you could be stealing time too. Because if you're telling me that you're at work or you on a clock and you're not, and I see your work is not done, and now we're backed up. Like I just I don't even I don't even have the energy to go into it. But it's like if hiring family and friends, I'm gonna have to deal with the bullshit. I'm just not gonna hire family or friends anymore. We're just going to change the work motto. Going forward, as we're taking things to the next level, we're just, it's going to be in a contract. It's going to be in the employee agreement. There's no fraternizing on the job. No girlfriends, no boyfriends, no family, no de none, none of that type of stuff. Maybe you guys need to hire like a real professional, like human resource manager to help you with the hiring the vet in these employees so it's like you could just take things to the next level things could just get more serious like you might unless it's the family and friends that you know really support you and that's been down since the get down and you don't have no problem with them cool but anybody out that they, they could be grandfathered than anybody else it's all going through the HR department I don't even think that you should really have anything to do with the hiring and all of that stuff like that you really do need to invest it's time to take it's time to plan and take things to the next level and let's just get you an HR coordinator on team and we don't even have to deal with this type of shit anymore they can deal with the hiring and the firing you understand what I'm saying let them legally deal with that shit I don't even want you to have anything involved with it it says sometimes in your life it needs to be brought into alignment. Wait, some things in your life needs to be brought into alignment. Your career may be in law, such as police, military, the courts, or criminal justice. Be sure to be honest and ethical in money matters, or you'll face the consequences. And I, I do think that you are being ethical. Why am I shortchanging myself? Why? Because you my family? Um, and I and I appreciate I appreciate you helping me because you might have been with me since the start of my business, but now I can't. It's like I can't hide the things that I feel about you right now. This is some some bullshit. And if your family and if you respect me honestly, you would treat me as such. You wouldn't be trying to take advantage of me like that. 
Because you wouldn't play with any other job. You wouldn't play with any other opportunity like that. And that's why a lot of people, they do not hire family and friends because people think that they can take advantage of them. But it's not nothing personal because I do feel like this is a family and associate or a friend of yours. I do feel like you're going to let them go and you're going to forgive them. Healing comes from acceptance. I accept that this is not working for me anymore. Help me, dear Lord, to, to fully accept what is, knowing that this alone will help me to the new. I forgive them. I forgive them. But I still gotta, I still gotta be a boss with this Queen of Pentacles. I still gotta take care of my business. Bottom line. Bottom line. This plan says, anticipate setbacks and failures. Plan for them. Don't let them drain your energy. Use them as fuel to go after your dreams. And what it just said, you had your setback, you had your bullshit, now it's time to take that shit to the next level. Don't sit there and fret, my pet. Do not fret. It says, next level. Big boss moves. That's what bosses do. That's what bosses do. Like I said, you ain't even got to worry about this shit. That's what, H is, that's what HR is for. You're either about to take your finances to the next level or it's time that you do. It, it says you're either about to take your finances to the next level or it's time that you do. If your finances haven't improved yet, you can be certain they will soon. There's a chance of something extra in the air. Okay. Okay. I am reloaded, bitch. We are reloaded. Once you just detonate that plan, things are going to take off. Anything that is not making you happy, anything that is looming around you that you feel is going to breed unsuccess. <laughs> you being unsuccessful. You feel like there's any liar, any cheaters, any cheatskates, any thieves, any people that are doing anything that they shouldn't be doing. It's time for you big mama to get them the fuck up. You got to go. I don't care. You, I, I don't care. And, and it's because that family and friend bullshit. It's like you can expect motherfuckers to try to play with you and try to like, come on. It's like I expect y'all to try to play with me. It's okay. I got HR to take care of y'all now. I'm about to legally let you go. I'm going to give you two, uh, uh, two weeks severance pay. I appreciate everything that you've done. Everything that you've helped me create. But I, I got to plan forward. I'm not going to keep doing this with you or anybody. Uh, you taught me a very wise lesson. Don't hire family and friends. Check. I got you. I, I forgive you. I see you at the family reunion and everything. Like, it, it, look, if there is any hard feelings, it's because you holding on to them. I ain't got time to do it. I'm too mature. Next. Next. And if you want it to be desert dry and all, uh, okay, I'm good with that too. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. See you when I see you. All right, group number three. What it be? If you have picked, all right, the Gemini Zodiac symbol and the number 11 in this white bracelet, this is your reading, my dear. This is your reading. All right, let's get into this. All right, group number three. What it be? Let's see what this says. Try to avoid harmful influences. What in the... You know what? Red's just... Hold on, I gotta see. Th does this motherfucking deck say any positive shit in this motherfucker? This goddamn... Make gentle habits soft. nice stuff in here i just feel like y'all okay listen god listen I, i'm not i'm not gonna question you or anything you listen I, okay let me recalibrate hold on come on jesus jesus louise it's all right 
So group three, what it be? We gonna start. We gonna start you over again. Hold on. Okay. Hi, you guys. I'm Scorpion Red. It's nice to meet you. If you pick this bracelet right here, the Gemini symbol in the number 11, I believe this is your reading. All right. So this is your spiritual message. Try to avoid harmful influences. Say no to drugs. Say no to thugs. Okay. Say no to what you thought it was, bitch. Okay. Hello. Bars. <laughs> Okay, let's get into this. It says clarity. Listen, you see him very clear. Very clear. Stay away from the harmful and negative influences. You see what it is? You see what it is, girl? You see they trying to get to your money? You know ain't shit funny about that? You know that's a negative and harmful influence. You better not listen and you better not do that what they told you to do. You better not. You better not. I wish you would go take your tax money and go invest in what's the, the I wish the fuck you would. Y'all better stop listening to y'all stupid ass friends that got these boyfriends that be playing puppet master in their back. That, girl, trying to funnel your money into their pockets. I ain't even to look the cars going to say y'all better listen to me. Pay attention when it's tax season. Even your girlfriends, you got to watch them bitches too because they ain't got no mind of their own. And they be having a stupid ass boyfriend paying puppet master and they back. Go around to your girlfriends and try to get them to invest into this stock and stuff and tell them that we going to manage it. Man, get that shit the fuck out of here. Listen to me. Entertainment. You got funnel. You got entertainment. What we got here. You got the wanderer. All right, you better come on, fool car. You better step out on faith. You better know it. And you got the entertainment too. Listen, I'm scared of you. You got the five of arrows. Okay, you better watch out. You better avoid all that bullshit. You said I'm about to get the fuck on out the way, baby. Oh, come on. Come on, Jesus. I love it when you're right. I love it when you motherfucking right. I see that shit clearly. Look, you got to look. The queen of arrows too. Oh, I'm the queen of the bullshit. I'm the queen of the action. I'm the one that'll really set it off. Just don't let this graceful, sedity shit fool you. Okay? I got a gun in my purse. Now, I put a nigga in the hearse. Nigga, bars. Don't listen. I've been about that shit. Y'all better Google a bitch back in the day. You better Google a bitch back in the day. Okay? Shit. You better ask Mary J. Blige how she got that cut on her eyes. So let me show <laughs> Well, I feel like group three back in the day used to cut people. Group three used to be with the shit, wasn't you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He said, I still keep a nine in my purse. I still put a nigga. I'm still with it. I still get with you. The fuck? Look, don't look, look. Don't, don't look. Don't let this new shit I'm into now look fool you. Just because I'm an entertainer now and I be up here talking my shit and I be making y'all laugh, I still punch a bitch in the face. I've been trying to avoid me a case. Y'all better get the fuck on. Look, I'm growing up now. I'm an artist and I'm sensitive. Look, I'm growing the fuck. Look, y'all listen. Come on, group three. Group three said, listen. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Y'all bitches is some crackheads. Y'all some crackheads, ain't it? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I can smell that stench in your clothes. Y'all some crack babies. Y'all be smoking that meth. Y'all be smoking the methamphetamines, don't y'all? Is that what they... Do they smoke meth? Yeah, yeah, they smoke meth, don't they? Oh, yeah, y'all some... Y'all some, some crack babies. Like, um... Motherfucker, uh... I about to say Judge Joe Brown. I ain't Judge Joe Brown. Which one of them judges that be calling all them people them damn crack babies and shit and crackheads? Mm-hmm. Like Judge Mav is a tell you. He from Detroit. He ought to know. He said, y'all motherfuckers some crack babies. I'm grown. I'm in my artistry now. I ain't got time for y'all shit. Okay? And again, I want to say 
for this group right here, there's a few of you guys that are extremely young that you need to pay attention to the type of people that y'all be watching and the, what y'all think is artists, entertainment, bullshit online. Because y'all might just be stumbling and wandering with that good heart of yours and just, you know, innocently looking for some new direction. And it's like you could wander upon the wrong type of content thinking that it's entertainment and it could poison your mind. Do you understand what I'm saying? And what you want to do is avoid conflict at all costs. Don't be listening to any that that ratchet music, that uh gold digger. Um, do y'all know what I'm talking about online, especially on TikTok? It's this one woman in particular, like some of the shit. I do repost some of her shit because I think it's funny and I do think that women need to know their worth and don't just sell their self short. So it's some things that this, this lady be hitting on, but all in all, she's really just educating people on gold digging whole culture. So pay attention to that. Like there's a different level when you carry yourself like a lady, you avoid a lot of unnecessary bullshit in your life. And I feel like um, there's somebody in this group here, like y'all needed to hear that this message because it's like you in a gray area. With this full car here, it's like you're very, very receptive because you're in a new stage in your life and you're changing and you're developing. And like I said, somebody is growing up. So I feel like this group could be someone that's a little bit more youthful, someone that is way younger than my normal group that might have stumbled upon this video. This could be y'all or it could be y'all's kids. And these devices and this money that you done invested giving y'all kids access to the internet and things like that, you may need to pay attention to what they consider art and, and, and entertainment and what your children are paying attention to on the internet. Because guess what? This Money Manifested Monday, that's where your money is going, right? So pay attention to the entertainment that your children are uh, uh, consuming. And you may want to pay attention to that shit too. Avoid harmful influences. Cause it's funneling into your mind and again um i feel like it affects your paycheck because there's certain people that support these fucking idiots like there's a lot of people that seem people their money and it may not be until y'all seen this video that y'all really understood what y'all was supporting it's like what what are you trying to do? Like a get rich quick scheme? You gonna fuck a celebrity or athlete or something and have a baby and and, and you gonna <laughs> what? Like no, that's not. Mm mm. But on another note, I feel that there is someone that is trying to get into the entertainment industry. It could be being um, celebrity stylist. Um, just a commentator about anything. Um, it could be about politics. It could be about global warming and, um, about how all of this weather change and the stuff going on with nature, which is a very big issue. It's something that I am very interested in, uh, right now, especially with the glaciers and all of the stuff like um, global warming is a bit, and politics is a, a very big subject that anybody could just like jump in and go on the internet and um, share your artistry, your wisdom, the way that you feel. Um, and it really doesn't take any skill or anything. You could just pull a camera out and go online and just do it. So if there's somebody that been thinking about going online and trying to be a social media influencer commentator just jump online and do it you don't need any type of fancy equipment anything just take your cell phone record yourself talking to your phone make some bullet notes and just do it just do it 
Just jump out there. Do what your heart desires. And as long as you have fun, you don't know. You may influence the next person to do what you're doing. So, you know, there's always that first person who just jumped out there and tried some shit that influenced the world. Who knew that the people that we were watching on YouTube way back in the day, I can name so many of them that have influenced the world. And there's like so many carbon copies right now because of like maybe 10 or 20 names that made social media and being a streamer and a YouTube content creator uh, popular. And it's a job now for people. You know, so I feel like this could be someone that is also like trying to jump out there and um, make social media or just getting in the entertainment industry their job. Uh, make sure that you pay very close attention that you have positive people around you that have mindsets uh, that winner mindsets. I feel like you're growing up, you're being more positive, and you're being more creative with um, your well, who you are in your environment right now. Please don't, because I, I, don't, I don't like the five of wands. The five of wands is people that just like to be indifferent with motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Taking shots at you for no fucking reason. Like, what the hell is your problem? Like, this... To avoid people at all costs because there are certain people and there are certain things that you just feel like are negative and that can easily be avoided. You don't have to explain yourself because um, sometimes I feel like you may be um, over explaining yourself trying to get people to understand your idea. You ain't got to explain shit to them because you can hop your ass right the fuck online and there's people that ex understand exactly what the fuck you're saying. There's people that could be indifferent on purpose just to discourage you because you got a mind of your own. You have a certain level of talent and skill that these people possibly don't have and you came up with an idea and you have a level of creativity that um, they didn't have for themselves or they wish that they would have came up with that. So they're going to try to shoot you down. They're going to uh, try to put their little sprinkle, their little sauce on whatever it is you're doing. And if you don't like their idea or if you don't want to change what you're doing to fit their critique, then they got a problem with you. Man, fuck these people. Avoid, try to avoid harmful influences. You don't have to share your ideas with everybody. Just be confident in yourself and trust in yourself. And put yourself around people that believe in what you're doing. You can tell your haters to take a day off. I'm not coming to work today. So y'all can take a day off too. <laughs> like for real. Avoid haters at all fucking costs. Alright. Just continue to step out on faith. You got the queen of arrows. Um, you believe in yourself very much and you have an extreme level of talent beauty and grace and you are a go-getter and people admire that about you people admire that about you 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 might have had like an ugly phase where you were extremely reckless <laughs> with but now you've calmed down and you know how to carry yourself and you know how to go about things. And you know how to get what you want. You know how to get what you want. Don't listen to what nobody has to say. Don't let nobody influence you. Don't don't let nobody try to uh, take what's yours neither. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because I feel very strongly about people in this group needing to hear to watch friends and people that you know with these goddamn internet uh, investment that you wa watch that shit watch that shit you're very strong believe in yourself it says clarity let me trust my deepest instincts in all ways especially when matters are unclear 
May my own holy intuition always guide the way. Listen to what your heart is trying to tell you. I feel like people be being disruptive and being argumentative or just trying not to understand intentionally because it ain't it's not theirs. It's not their idea, it's not their product, it's not their business. Just being difficult for no reason. I don't don't nobody have time for that. Oh god, it's giving me a fucking headache. I, it's just making my stomach hurt. I hate people like that. I hate people like that. Like, I don't even have to be around you. Like, at all. You don't have to be around my business. You don't have to be around my family. You don't have to be part of any motherfucking thing I'm doing. At all. Let me make that happen for you. Because you don't even have to upset yourself worrying about me. I see clearly that you're a problem. Okay? I'm not about to fumble to play. I'm about to get the fuck from around you. Okay? You're a fucking idiot. And I don't like motherfuckers like you. I'm sorry. I don't like this shit. I'm too graceful. And I'm too pretty. And I'm too sedity. And I don't fucking. I do not roll in the mud with swine. I wish I would ever get a feather dirty fucking around with you. If you don't get the fuck from away from me. Oh my God. I'm too grown for this shit. It says. Um, growing up, it's time to step up into your own power and stop engaging in childish qualities. Don't rely on others to help you and to care for you. This mess is yours to clean up. Avoid depending on someone else's income. You have all the skills to make it on your own. Funnel. It says create a dynamic customer experience that nurtures uh that nurtures prospects to become paying clients build a simple sales funnel i'm trying to tell y'all watch yourself because it's so much you need to do that but watch out i'm trying to tell you watch out you got the artist Focus on finding the beauty in your day-to-day -day life. The artist can be a, photog a photographer, a painter, a uh, film, graphics artist, or web designer. If you can make a living with your art full-time, start part-time just to get started. Jump out there. Remember I was telling y'all to just jump out there and do it? Just launch it. Just, just do it. Start slow. Start part-time. It looks like you want to be like a part-time entertainment artist. Your brand should educate and entertain your clients. Make them smile, laugh, and feel great when they interact with your brand. There's some people that's going to hate and have unnecessary... Um, negative comments about what you're doing you don't need any you don't need help from anybody i feel like your business structure and model is make them laugh first make them learn directly after we laugh and learn you know how lunch and learn we laugh and learn around here I'm going to entertain you, but at the same time, we're all going to learn a lot. And we're going to learn, share, and grow with each other. And we're going to look good while doing it. And it's to each one teach one. Y'all help me, and I'm going to help y'all. Like, it could start off as, like, you just sharing your thoughts. You just entertaining people, and people pouring a little bit of money into you. Then you can buy a little bit more equipment. Then things for you will get bigger and bigger. Then the next thing you know, you'll be able to sponsor somebody else. You'll be able to give back to your fans, give back to your followers and start like that. But you're growing up. You know how to do what you need to do without anybody else. So you don't need nobody's help. Especially if the shit that they say when you're coming to them with your ideas and the things that you want to do. And they trying to be negative. Don't even take a chance with that. Avoid these motherfuckers at all costs. 
You don't need nobody but yourself. Jump out there and follow your dreams, baby. Listen, this has been your Money Manifesting Monday reading. I hope y'all enjoyed these messages. Y'all let me know how this resonated with y'all. Uh, hit that like button. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, and share, like, and subscribe. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all next Monday. Peace.